Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator, and this is an extract from our Intro to Auto Hockey course. And in this one, you learn just how easy it is to read a file, a text file with Auto Hockey. It's so super simple to read a file and write using the file append methodology. Uh, this video here, again, we extracted from there. Most of the videos are three to seven minutes long, roughly somewhere in there, and they're you know very clear directions on what to do, where to go, and a nice clear process that walks you through it. So if you're interested, check out the Intro to Auto Hockey course. Um, remember, all of our courses come with a double year's money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, you get double it back. Uh, like the video if you learned something. It really helps us out. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, you also might consider the Auto Hockey Hero Group because if you're starting to learn the stuff and you need help along the way, the Hero Group, that's what we're there for. We meet three times a week right now. Each time is an hour apiece. You also have access to a private Telegram group where during the week you can ask your questions and get pointed in the right direction. All right. Hope you enjoy that. Cheers. So we already know how to select files and how to read the contents of the files. So let's go ahead and append information to an existing file. So what we can do in here, I do not want to do anything with the file contents at the moment. What I do want to do is go ahead and select a file, right? And after I have the file name, I want to append some text to it and basically that's exactly the name of the command that we're going to be working with file append so this guy and again we can just go ahead and press f1 to verify a few things the first parameter is the text that you want to append and again if it is going to be literal text let's go ahead and use quotation marks the file name and then the options so let's just go ahead and do that file append the text is going to be this is another test, right? And the file name is going to be the one that we received from our previous command. So this would append that text to any file that I selected. In this case, I'm going to continue with the test file, but you will see a few interesting details that you will know when you're appending to a file. So let's go ahead and run the script to control F1 to get the path to the thing and then let's open that file nothing happens supposedly because i didn't have any messages popping up or doing anything but i know that it worked because now if i right click on my file and open it with notepad you will notice that it says this is another test there that's what i wanted to show you this is just appending it straight to the end of the line but sometimes you want it to be on a new line whenever you're appending to a, a file you can use the carriage return code to append a new line as windows would do it so for that you would use the back tick and the r that is the return and the carrot the back tick with the n creates a new line in linux systems you do not need the return and sometimes it is just easier to use the new line character like this. But if you want to do it exactly as Windows does, it would be a carriage return like this. Now, every time I append to the file now, what it's going to do is that it's going to add this one line plus a new line right there. Now, let's do this. Instead of asking me for the file every single time, I'm going to put this outside of the hot of the hotkey which gets executed automatically as the script starts and later on i don't have to be asking you for the file over the file name over and over again and as this is just one line now we could just go ahead and use the file append like this i save it and at this point if i go ahead and run my script it would ask me for the file that i'm going to be working with right away it didn't have to hit the hotkey so i did that and now that variable has that name. I don't have to worry about it. Now, let's go ahead and open it in, in Notepad to verify how it is. Right now it has two lines, right? So let's go ahead and press Control F1 a few times. So I just pressed it three times. And if I go ahead and reopen the file, now I have a few more lines. And as you can tell, they are getting appended to a new line all the time because I have my new line character right there. 